Hi there and welcome to lesson number two of the Heartland 4 Iron Workshop modding lessons. In this lesson we're going to be talking about the tools that you will be using to mod the game. Now uh, there are many tools uh, that you can use uh, but these are the most basic ones. Uh, I will probably have another lesson talking about more advanced tools but these are more than enough for you to get acquainted with modding and to get you on your way so let's get to it. Okay, so most of the modding tools are free and you can get them on the internet with the links that I will provide uh, in the description of this video. First thing that I want to talk about is Notepad. Now the Windows Notepad uh, has been your friend for a long time and I'm sure that it's hard to let go, but you really need to move on and to let Notepad go since the tool that we will be using Notepad++ in these lessons is a much more advanced tool and it's actually essential for you to write proper code that is readable both to you or anyone else who will be using your files. If you stick to Notepad, you are just going to make your work harder and more complicated. And that's really unnecessary. Yes, it's hard to move to a new tool and the one that you're used to, you're probably thinking, okay, they basically do the same, so why would I switch? But believe me, once you get used to Notepad++ and you use it for a while, you will understand what a difference it makes in doing your file or creating your files correctly, properly, and it even helps you to spot mistakes and to correct files and errors that you might encounter on your way. The next tool uh, that I want to talk about is paint.net. We'll be using this tool to edit some of the graphic files in the game. Uh, it's quite enough to do the basic stuff. You don't need uh, sophisticated stuff like Photoshop, things like that. You can do a lot of things with paint.net, but obviously up to a certain uh, limitation. And uh, that is the tool that I will be using throughout most of these modding videos. In the past I have used GIMP, but that one requires a, a plugin to open the game files. And that plugin can be a bit complicated to get, since sometimes the links are broken. And why would you need to install another plugin if you can just get paint.net that opens the game files, the graphic files, uh, immediately with no additional plugins. So I definitely recommend you to get paint.net uh, if you want to follow this modding series. And the last tool is xConvert. Uh, this tool will allow you to convert graphic files that you, for example, download from the internet uh, to a file type which is compatible with the game, allowing you to take these files uh, and either manipulate them and then put them in the game or use them directly in the game by converting their file type. Obviously, when we get to working with graphic files, I will go more in depth about what it means, why you need to convert, what are file types, and all of those things will be explained, so don't worry about that. So just make sure to get these three tools, Notepad++, Paint.net, XN Convert, and you're all set to go, and I will see you in the next lessons. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you stick around for the rest of the lessons. Bye-bye. Hey guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Check out these other videos on the Iron Workshop that you might enjoy as well. Please consider supporting the Iron Workshop on Patreon. This will allow the channel to grow and become even better. Thank you.